all these push pins, just use a trim tool, pop these up, pop those out. Underneath the car, there's these screws that you want to pull out. Use a seven millimeter socket. Take all of those out. This is loose if you want to. If you have the screws right here, you want to take those out just so that is loose right there. This vehicle doesn't have that. And underneath here, if there's any covers underneath here, this vehicle doesn't have anything you want to take those out as well. With those screws, do the same on the other side. Underneath, there's two push pins. Just use a trim tool. Pop those push pins out. Right there, and right there. On the inner fender well, you can remove the wheel if you need to, but you can access these screws. You want to remove those. Use a seven millimeter socket. There's one down below, one here, and then one up top. Take those out. And you should be able to pull this back enough so that you can access. There's a bolt right here. You want to use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that bolt out right there. It's the one closest to the edge right there. Take that out. Then very forcefully grab the bumper right here, the bumper cover, and just give it a tug like that. It's just clipped in. Then you're going to do the same on the other side. And grab the bumper, slide it up. And it slides right off. On the back side, on both sides, there's these little push pins. You want to use either a straight blade screwdriver or there is a square drive in here. If you have one of those sockets, you want to use that. Just unscrew that. Comes out pretty easily. Do the same on the other side. There's two 10 millimeter retainers right there and there. Take those off. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. And the emblem comes off, so set that aside. And then this whole cover is clipped in on the sides. You can just try to slide those out. Just put a little pressure on the grill from the front side. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just try to push these back while you're slipping it out. Just be careful not to break them. And that's all unclipped. Carefully slide this out and out of the way. Take the grill, line it up. With it all lined up, then push it down, clip it in place.
That's all the way down. Now take the emblem from the front, line that up, slide it through. Take the two retainers, get those started. And snug those down. And take the two plastic screws, get those started on the side, and tighten those down. Now realign the bumper. On both sides, you want to push that in. And get the bolt started right here. Put the inner fender well back in position. Get the screws started. Tighten those down. And you can do the same on the other side. I'm going to install these two push pins, one there and one there. And you want to put any of these screws in from underneath. And tighten those down. Should be another one over there. And then these two over here. And then if you had a panel there, you want to reinstall that panel. Now put the push pins in from up top. And you're all set.